Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Today I'm at Theater Worth. Huge surprise there. Um, I have the Nuke Proof Scout um, and I have the higher rise bars. I have the Spank Spoon 60 millimeter rise bar. So today my goal is, is to find out if I like the way this bike rides with the taller bar because that's really going to determine whether this is a keeper or not. Um, so pretty stoked on that um, and one thing I <laughs> realized is that my front brake line <laughs> is barely long enough now because of the rise bars um, so I must have sized it well actually when I sized these lines that was actually on the Esker Hey Duke uh, um, MX build that I did over the winter so I if I do keep this I'm gonna definitely have to replace that brake line with a little bit longer line if I leave it in this configuration. Unfortunately, um, requires bleeding the brakes, getting a new olive, all that stuff and on both ends, right? So yeah, it'll be a huge pain in the butt, but necessary because you really don't wanna ride it when it's maxed out like this. So, um, so that's the only thing that I kinda <laughs> realized when I, put the taller bars on um i should know better and make sure i have a little bit extra long cable and not cut them perfectly to the length the other thing is as we look on my head this is the gopro hero 12 with the max mod on it so it should give a wider uh perspective and i'm curious to try it out so in this video I know a lot of people like it when I do the other angles, but this is going to be F or yeah, uh, not FPV. That's uh, <laughs> well, that is first person view. It is FPV, but POV point of view is the other term we use. So um, yeah, so it'll just be from this perspective. And I actually brought my chest mount too. So I'll try it on my helmet for a little while, and then I'll move it down, try it on my chest mount for a little while and just see how well this max mod makes riding and seeing more of what's ahead of me and in the trail um it does distort things a little bit too so uh let me know in the comments what you think do you like it or does the distortion kind of take away from the quality of the footage or something like that let me know all right let's go hit the trail and talk about these handlebars and <laughs> max mod 2.0 i guess it is and it's available for the Hero 12. So normally, I go for the North Loop first, which is more like a tighter, twisty cross-country loop. But today, I'm gonna go for the Southwest and Glenwood loops, which have all the jumps and stuff, because I wanna check the ratification of this bike. Is that a new word? Who knows? I also know when the camera is mounted on my head, you can hear my breath more. <coughs> oh, and I just took in a bug. Yuck. Small one, at least. Oh, let's do this. All right. So there's some berms coming up. We'll see how these bars affect the weighting of the front wheel. Wow, they actually make it easier. Huh, that's so bumpy right here. Oh, <clears throat> oh gosh, they are really bumpy. We've had such a dry year, but the <clears throat> handlebars make it easier to weight the front wheel. So, there, <clears throat> for some reason, I thought that I was going to have a harder time weighting the front wheel because the higher rise bars does shift my weight back some when I'm standing. 
but that is not the case. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> well, I just did a couple jumps. Okay, more jumps coming up. Let's see how this goes. Oh, geez. So, so bumpy after that landing. Uh, okay. Um, let's get through this. There's one more right here. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm really liking these bars for jumping. <clears throat> it's uh, definitely gives me that DJ bike feel. But will it be at a disadvantage for everything else? So we have a technical climb coming up right here. You're just going to have to excuse my breathing. Uh, yes, it is hot out today too for a later September day. It's like almost 90 degrees. Technical climbing track. All right, a little bit of quick downhill. Let's do the strap line. Whew. Oh gosh, these berms. <laughs> Well, nice. God, they're so bumpy. I don't. I'm not going as fast through them as I'd like to because they're just so bumpy. Let's we'll see what this rocks look like with this Max mod. Cool. It's pretty hard to push speeds when it's so dry and dusty because you never know when <laughs> it's going to be sandy or something and you're going to slide up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Right here, the big sandy spot. Wow, well, it held okay. Gotta get high on the burns. All right, we'll run through this little fun section with the Max Mod on my helmet. Then we'll switch to chesty footage. Here we go. More jumps. Yeah. Oh. The lips are kind of worn on those. Definitely need some maintenance. Oh. Yeah. Fun. That's for sure. One thing these bars help with is pumping. Like that kind of push pull row anti row. They put my arms right where they need to be for the maximum ability to do that. 
and I'm really liking that aspect of them. <sighs> Alright, let's switch to the chesty footage. So now we're on the chest mount. Curious to know how this looks because one of the issues with being on the chest mount is it's sometimes hard to get the camera pointed up enough so you see down the trail. A lot of times you're looking down too much. So hopefully this will solve that problem and it can look down the trail and you can kind of see more of the bike down here. I'm very curious, especially when I'm standing like this. All right. Is this video about 60 millimeter rise bars or is it about the GoPro Hero 12? with the max mod you tell me <laughs> maybe it's about both so just speaking of back there i popped off that little slab angled cement slab so easily <clears throat> i think one of the reasons why i like the taller stack height on that norton frame was just for that it had a taller front end and I was able to easily pull up pop off of things even though it had a longer reach than what I normally ride which is the same with this bike too I normally ride a, around a 420 reach and this is 446 that's a lot longer than what i'm used to and these handlebars oh yeah i knew it <laughs> need to cut them down but for one <laughs> but handlebars make a big difference in kind of offsetting that longer frame okay now it's time to ride the north loop <clears throat> this is definitely more cross-country classic style trail but it is so fun it's got i mean still got a lot of good flow to it here's the dump loop this is very technical And this dump loop was made a long time ago, and it's just so fun. I think this has been here for over 15 years. Technical section. Curious and all that looks on the camera. Oh. oh. <laughs> Don't want to hit the tree. That tree on the right is always challenging. Skinny. Nice. Oh, the dreaded rock garden. One thing I've learned, take it a little slower, pick a good line. I don't have to blast it. Right through here. Oh, I fell to the right though. The good line is over there to the left. Actually, I really want to redo that. All right, I'm not going to talk this time. <laughs> and I'm going to stay to the left, see if I can do it. All right, here we go. Right through there, got too slippery. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, so close. Very close. <sighs> too much effort to keep retrying. So for that climb, that rock armor climb, the 2.4 tires that I'm running seem to get caught easier in the little grooves as were the 2.6 tires that I run on most of my other bike tend to 
cut through there fairly easily. So that might be something I have to think about when I'm trying to pick a line. I'm really curious to know how going over this rock looks with this max lens. I go over this thing all the time on my channel. <laughs> cool. Super tight trail right here too. Through here. <laughs> my right hand almost hit that trail sign back there. <laughs> So, if I took this bike to the pump track, I would absolutely love it. Pumping these taller handlebars so much easier. You can push down on them easier, pull back on them easier. Get that pumping motion, that row, anti-row motion. Yes. It's pretty wild. It makes me like... I feel like I'm leaning the bike over differently. Like I'm, I can actually like use my arms more to lean the bike even while seated. It's like I have so much leverage on like the lean of the bike. Something I've never really thought of. I talk about all this geometry stuff, but I don't think about the that a taller bar is going to give you more leverage on leaning the bike easier. Huh, very interesting. Like there, I just, after that wooden thing, there's that sharp left-hander, I like over-leaned the bike like to a point where I almost like slid out the front wheeler. Yeah. So it's like interesting. Now that I kind of know what's going on, let's see how this little technical rock section works. I gotta do this. Lean the bike. Huh. Yeah, now now that I understand I'm not making those You know, over leaning mistakes where I have to counter crack for them. There's gonna be another couple of tight swoopy turns up here. Watch. Here's one here over this log pile. Tight turn, tight swoopy turn. Tight. Gosh. Huh. Oh, big branch hanging out. Face slapper. Now. Now that I'm on the mark board, I <laughs> think I gotta go fix that. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay, so I did a little trail work there. <laughs> Getting that, uh, whoa, something just ran across the trail. Um, so now, I don't have that branch sticking out. All right, this is a super tight, fast section, and I wanna really, hammer through it. I think I'm going to just film through the whole section. Might make this video longer, but I think it'll look cool on this Max Mod. You can always fast forward to the end if you don't want to wait. Huh. Oh, slippery, <laughs> loose, oh, getting kicked all over the place. <laughs> little jump there. A little skinny right here.
Oh gosh, gotta remember these bars haven't been cut yet, so they're wide. That is not a real line. Whew. Almost done. There we go. Okay, there it is, in all its glory. Um, I don't know if I have an opinion on the Vibra Core yet, but I definitely have an opinion on the higher rise handlebars, and I like them. Um, once I kind of started getting used to them, I blasted through that last section of the video there. Um, it's actually called Section 5, in theater worth trail worker terms <laughs> um i don't know if we have a more official or better name for it than that but uh it's super tight fun twisty and i really liked how this rides through there now that i got used to kind of the taller bar it's it's really difficult for me to really throw that much of an opinion around it turn off my Strava here for a minute um but I think for what I'm trying to do where I'm trying to get it to ride more like a DJ bike I've definitely achieved that goal and then for everything else it may not be the perfect setup but it's not bad I just had to get a little bit used to it and once I got used to it and adjusted I felt like I could shred on it just fine so Climbing, a little bit more leaning forward. In the corners, you have to be careful because you can actually over lean the bike. I guess that was what I was, I was kind of fumbling on my words, but it was like, I feel like I easily over leaned the bike a few times, which you really don't want. Um, and so on and so forth. Cutting the bars down a little bit because they haven't been cut yet might solve that. So that'll be the next thing is I wanted to try them in their stock form. Then I'll cut them down probably 10 millimeters, quarter inch or something like that on each side. I'll just measure them to some of my other bars and so on and so forth. So there you have it. Um, really liking the Hero 12. Um, I did take a few peeks at the footage that the camera's doing um, with the camera. So it's that small screen so it can't tell a whole lot but I can kind of get an idea what's getting covered anyway I feel like it makes it look like I'm going faster than I really am too uh, but we'll see on the big screen if I see those same effects but uh I do like it and it does seem to cover more of the surrounding area I'm kind of curious to know what this looks like on night footage I don't know maybe I'll have to try that I mean it is getting into night riding season here um, I do appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.